Oh, just look at that. That is the best hat ever. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. You know, I think I'm going to call it the Ripley hat after me because I made it. <laughs> uh, Strid, do I look like a film star in this hat or what? <laughs> Strid? 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 Oh! Oh, oh, oh. What's all this, this, this straw? <laughs> Oh, hi, Ripley. I'm putting this straw down in case we fall over. Yeah, but I just did fall over. Yeah, and I've decided that when we fall over, it hurts too much. So I thought if there was straw all over the ground, it wouldn't. <laughs> the, but, Scuff, I, I just fell over. I, I know, and it didn't hurt, did it? Oh, top banana idea. No, but you see, no, come no, on, no, no. down we go with the straw, the straw, straw, straw. No, you see, I fell over the straw. That's what made me fall over. Ripley, don't worry, you'd have fallen over anyway. Why? Because I tied lots of string between the rocks to trip you up. Obviously. Oh. There's one. Watch. Oh. See, didn't hurt. Top banana. <laughs> well, I suppose it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, boys. What, what on earth are you doing? Oh, Strid, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, it's grown-up stuff. You two look like a couple of cows in all that straw. No, we're not being cows. No. Mm, it's our brand new safety invention. Moo! You need milking. <laughs> Moo! <laughs> oh, Strid, you're too young to understand. Or a couple of horses. Nay! <laughs> oh, a message on Sizzle. I'll go and get it. <laughs> no, Strid. Come back. You mustn't touch that. You're too young. Strid, don't touch Sizzle. Whoa. Oh, oh, Scuff. Oh, this safety idea of yours is really beginning to hurt my... Oh. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going, Sizzle? <laughs> the answer is in the banana. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> in the banana. Oh, 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 steady. Oh, where are we going? Oh, oh. We are going to Hay School in Paynton. <laughs> That's right, Strid. Today we are going to <laughs> Hay School in Paynton. I know where that is. I know where that is. It's here. Yeah. It's over here, Scuff, you great spoon. Oh. Let's go. Let's get ready to trundle. <laughs> Can't wait to start messing about. <laughs> 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 Roar, Jolly Roger, splice my main uh, thing in me. And over to the left hand side, we have the school playing ground. And we see Scuff standing in the whitey sort of uh, square thing. 
Kuzmenkov, in goals! Looking nervous, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming! And, and, oh, 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 and it's gone in! <laughs> Come on, Scuff, get it together! Here comes the ball, the ball's coming, and he's reading a book! Oh, it's gone in again! Oh, remarkable! Let's see that again! It's all over now! <laughs> and the crowd go wild! So what we're going to do today is to make a spotty dog. What do you think this is going to be? Circle. It's big, isn't it? Tummy. Tummy, good. There's the tummy. What do you think I might be cutting out now? The face. Good. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> you sure? Oh, hello, Connor. What have you been making? A dog. A dog? How have you made it? That's his head and that's his body. What are you going to do now, Katie? Eyes. You're going to do the eyes. If you watch eyes Katie. Like mine. <laughs> you mean big green eyes like mine? No. And you just put dots on for eyes. Well, sort of, yes, because they're dotty dogs, you see. Ah. On the other side for the dog. Well, shall I tell him over, Katie? T roll there over, doggy. Roll, roll over. over. Oh, roll oh, over. That's lovely. Have you got a doggy at home, Anna? That's lovely. No. 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 Have you got any pets? No. Wait, no. Yes. Where my. Yeah, I've got a hamster. Oh, a hamster? I've cut a slit in the middle to make it easier for you. With just a piece of card like that, put a slit in. Because these oh, dogs aren't just like picture ones. Look, it, oh. it will stand up like that. <laughs> right? Don't you think that's good? That's fantastic. Yeah, give me a clap. clap. Give me a clap. Give it a clap. Give a clap. Oh, that's lovely. Ah, watch this bit. Oh, will we turn it, Scuffy's Katie? Scuffy's got some stickers on his fingers. What happened? I can see him. Mm -hmm. He's messing about again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take a sticker. Yeah. So if you wanted to, with your scissors, you could cut a V out, like this one, look. You just pick me, Amber. Can't you control your dog? <laughs> you can't control your dog. Oh. What you going to call your dog? Floppy. Floppy? <laughs> I'll hold the stickers, you peel them off. How many spots are we going to have on your dog? Oh, loads. Loads. Loads and loads and loads. Oh, but what about his back legs? He's only got one on his bottom. <gasps> ah, that's it. This remember, dog's got a spotty these bottom. Are spotty dog. <laughs> spotty body. <laughs> <laughs> stuck to my thumb. Your dog is stuck to my thumb. That's Thank it. you. <sighs> now this is called the Dotty Spotty. Dog race. <gasps> a race! <laughs> and what happens is that the dogs, each time their number's called, go forward once, and it's the dog that gets to the end that gets the bone. Right, Amber's number? Three. Three. Katie's number? Two. And Two. that's Connor's dog, number? One. Whoa. Ready? Oh, Off we go. Number three. Number three. That's Amber's. One. Next one. Number three again! Oh! oh she's running away. We're doing well Next here, one. Amber. Number two. Oh, oh, oh. Katie's catching yeah. up. And the next one, number one. Oh, oh. Come on, next one, number three. Oh, oh. Yay, yeah. we won, we won, we got the bony old. You got the bone, yeah. and we put it in. Look at this. Just slipped on a banana skin. Ripley! Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, a banana skin? <laughs> I found one too. Look, there's loads of them. Strid! What are you doing with those bananas? Nothing! <laughs> Hold it, Strid. 
Uh, what are you doing with those bananas? Mm. Well, I suppose you could come. This is lunch for some animals. We're going to visit at the zoo. Ah! <gasps> Top banana! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody. <laughs> What does this animal, the tapir, eat then? Is it worms? Uh, beetles? Uh, slugs? No, bananas! <gasps> Top, Top banana! banana. <laughs> <laughs> nice tapir. Nice tapir. Yes, you are. I think that's their lunch. Ooh. What? You're not the way down! Here they come for their lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they, they must be hungry. Stretch. <laughs> yes. There's lots of baby ones in there. Yes. There's one stuck onto a bag. It's like a baby one for a dog. Somewhere round here, Scuff, right, are some huge African animals. Yeah, somewhere really close to us. Now, they're not over there. And they're not over there or over there. Or up there. Oh, can't see them. <laughs> Ripley! Where are they? Ripley! What? what where? Where? <laughs> there they are! Ellie chunky oh. thingies! Elephants! Oh, we're going out to a tunnel now. What's that bird? I think it's a heron. Hello! 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 <laughs> wow! What animal is that? It's a hamster. A bit big for a hamster, isn't it, Ripley? Oh, well, that's because it's a gigantic sort of hamster. Yeah, Mr. Know-it-all scuff. Are you sure that's a hamster? Oh, of course I'm sure it... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I got it wrong. It's a duck. Yep, it's a duck. A duck? Yeah, that's your huge, four-legged, big-nosed sort of duck. Yep, it's definitely a duck. In fact, it might quack any minute. Actually, that's not a duck or a hamster. That's actually an African rhinoceros. Oh. Yeah, 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 I knew that. <laughs> yeah, I meant that. Yeah, it's a huge nigh rhinoceros. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Strid. We found this yeah. spondonkerously ginormous tortoise. <laughs> that's not a ginormous tortoise. That is. No. Oh. <laughs> so what do we think, everyone? Top <laughs> oh, story time. <laughs> zookeeper Zoe. Zoe was a zookeeper. Sadly, Zoe wasn't a very careful zookeeper. She always fed the animals in the zoo the wrong food. Every day, the head keeper told her what each animal liked to eat. But every day, careless Zoe got it wrong. Today, she fed the horses the fish meant for the seals. She fed the butterflies the carrots meant for the rabbits. And she fed the goat one of the head keeper's best shoes in a bucket. <laughs> so none of the animals were happy. Oh, except the goat, because goats eat almost anything, and this goat chewed some big holes in the shoe. Zookeeper Zoe needs to be taught a lesson, said the head keeper to himself after he had sorted all the food out and found his shoe. So he invited Zoe for lunch. When Zoe came for lunch, he gave her a large bowl of caterpillars. Yeah. What's this? said Zoe. Caterpillars, said the zookeeper. They're a treat. I'm having boring old biscuits and crisps. Eat up, or aren't you hungry? Uh, actually.
Actually, I'm not hungry after all, said Zoe, who didn't want to seem rude. The next day, Zoe Zookeeper fed the animals the wrong food again. This time she fed the seals the lettuce meant for the rabbits. She fed the cat the hay meant for the horses. And she fed the goat the headkeeper's other best shoe in a bucket. And none of the animals were happy, except the goat, because goats eat almost anything, and this goat chewed some big holes in the shoe. Zookeeper Zoe still needs to be taught a good lesson, said the headkeeper to himself, after he had sorted all the animals' food out again and found his other shoe. Once again, he invited Zoe for lunch. When Zoe came for lunch, he gave her a large bowl of dead flies. Yeah. What's this? said Zoe. Dead flies, said the head keeper. They're a treat. I'm having boring old jelly and ice cream. Eat up, or aren't you hungry? This was too much for Zoe. I am very, very hungry, she cried. I really am very hungry, but dead flies are not a treat. They're horrible. They're a treat for frogs. Frogs love them, said the head keeper. But I'm not a frog, said Zoe. All right, I'll get you some caterpillars, said the head keeper. Caterpillars are horrible too, said Zoe. Fish love them, said the head keeper. But I'm not a fish, cried Zoe. I'm not a fish or a frog. I'm a Zoe. And she ran home. But you know, the funny thing was, the next day Zoe Zookeeper fed all the animals in the zoo the right food. Perhaps she realised that animals and humans like eating their own sort of food. And they don't always like the food meant for somebody else. Whatever it was, all the animals in the zoo were very happy. Except possibly the goat, who had rather enjoyed chewing holes in the headkeeper's best shoes. <laughs> Started. <laughs> We're rocking. We're rolling. We're Ripley's Rascals. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. What a top banana school! <laughs> <laughs> Come on then! Go home! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straw, it's very, very, uh, very comfy. <laughs> yeah. Comfy, comfy, comfy. Oh, I like being a sheep. <laughs> Night, Ripley. <laughs> Night, Scuff. Be warm. Be snug. Be snuggerama. Hope your sleep is top, is top banana. banana. Remarkable. Let's see that again. <laughs> this safety idea of yours is really beginning to hurt my... Oh! Yes, it is. 